Chase, could you please tell me your names? Jeanette. Jennifer. And what brings you to Times Square today? Uh, we were looking for tickets for our show. Awesome. And you're just, you live here, right? You're saying you live here? Yes. And are you just taking out your friend? Uh, my sister. Yeah. Oh, okay, you guys are sisters. It's a family affair. Okay, so today for a show, first of all, we know we want to say welcome, but we ha we're talking about movies and Oscars. So just a quick question, like, what are some, like, pet peeves you guys have at the movie theaters? Um, sticky floors. Sticky floors, right? Um, some soda spillage. Anything with, with what people are doing in the audience? Mm, well, when the cell phones go off, that's pretty annoying. Yeah. Or yeah. little kids crying. Yeah, like why bring babies and little kids to the to a theater, right? Especially when you're watching like an R-rated movie theater and you see a tit or an ass and there are babies there. <laughs> that would be rough. Right. Have you guys ever hooked up in a movie theater? No. No? <laughs> oh, I think we might have a guilty party here. <laughs> no, no, no. It's okay. Nobody watches us. You can tell us the truth. <laughs> I don't think no. you want to say in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's true. Sisters, right? Are you? She's the older sister? I'm older. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. We'll leave it down. But I have some dirty friends who hooked up in the movie theater. Susan. So I, I, I feel like you had to pick, like, uh, the movie that, you know, nobody watches. Maybe, like, The Roommate right now or, like, any movie with Ashton Kutcher or, like, yeah. a matinee. You know, make sure it's empty. Right. You can give me tips about it later after um, we're done rolling. <laughs> I, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Okay, so um, the Academy Awards are coming up. Uh, are you guys planning on watching it? Yes. Do you guys do the Oscar party thing? Maybe, yeah. I love them. What are your, um, you know, favorites? Where you guys, who are you guys hoping? Which ones are you hoping to win? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't seen a lot of stuff, but I really want Toy Story to win. You want Toy Story to win? And what about you? Um, the kids are all right. Awesome. What is like a movie that you guys watched recently? I saw a black swan not too long ago. Oh, how do you feel about that sex scene between those two fine ladies? Oh, well, it's pretty hot. <laughs> it's pretty hot, right? You weren't watching it with like your dad or anything right oh, next no, to you, right? No, no, <laughs> no. That would be so gross. So you like black swan. What, what movie have you watched recently? I'm trying to think. I don't know what the last thing I saw was. It was probably like Toy Story 3. Yeah. Toy Is there Story 3 or something in December. Uh, yeah, you're like a huge Toy Story 3 fan, I, I, I can tell. <laughs> is, there, is there a movie that you guys are like looking forward to watch? Well, you dissed it, but I want to see The Roommate. You know what? <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I watched it just the other day because it was 7.30 and it was the only show that was on at 7.40. And obviously those two girls are hot and I was thinking maybe, you know, it'll be kind of like a Black Swan, re you know, like replay of that scene. But I'm going to tell you that they don't have a scene like that. But those two girls are hot. Is it like single white female? It's ju just like single white female minus the stiletto and the eye. So, okay. but I thought that was a high point in um, single white female. So. For the Oscars, um, do you guys know who Oscar is? Like there's a dude? The dude, the gold statue, you know? Uh -huh. Do you guys have any clue? Well, if you could guess like who Oscar is or a story behind it, what would it be? I don't know, well, some I, guy like 90 years ago who made film or something? Mm -hmm. or so that's your- Acetate or something? He, <laughs> he invented acetate and so then the Oscars were named after, the movie awards was named after him? Do you have a theory? Uh, no, someone who, like, I don't know, a filmmaker. All right, ladies. So maybe we failed on this count, but how about this? How about, tell me, what are some other Oscars that you guys know? Who are some other Oscars? Any famous Oscars? Oscar Wilde. There you go. Any other? Okay. I was going to say Oscar Mayer. Oscar Mayer. Let's go for, like, the third Oscar. Oscar the Grouch. That's awesome. <laughs> That's three right there. Some people would, like, failed miserably on that. Um, who are your favorite actors and actresses? Or, you know, actor or actress? Um, Spencer Tracy and Julia Roberts. All right. And you? Um, I don't know. I like Julia Roberts. And I kind of like Matt Damon. What would be, like, your favorite movies with those uh, movie stars in it? I love all of the boring movies. But I just really like action. Oh, I thought you were saying all the boring ones. No. Okay. The boring, the, okay, the boring series. Okay. And what about for Julia Roberts? Um, Steel Magnolias. All right. Did you guys, you know, were you a fan of her when she was like a prostitute and pretty lady yes. or pretty woman? Yes. yes. <laughs> uh huh. Yes. She's from where we're from, so we love her. Right. She's a Georgia girl. 
I'm a Georgia girl. Really? Yes. Atlanta. And then, like, I live in, uh, my mom lives in Duluth. Okay. okay. We're, we're having a moment here. I'm sorry. Okay. We're, we're having a yeah, moment. Like we're from Augusta. So, okay. Uh, yeah. but do you, I always feel kind of like she doesn't really, um, you know, she doesn't talk about that. She doesn't talk about being from Georgia. I feel like she always talks about New York and stuff. And it's like, really? You need yeah, to represent. A woman, she says she's from Milledgeville. Yeah, she does. Even though she's actually from Smyrna. Smyrna, but, right? Right. Yeah. But do you know what I mean? Like, she, I feel like if I were of Julia Roberts caliber, I'd always be talking about, like, Georgia, Georgia, you she know? Should. She really yeah. should. But she's been gone too long. You know? Yeah, and, like, now I live in South Carolina, and the people there don't like her because she badmouths a really racist town, so... Okay, <laughs> and that's another thing. You guys don't really have accents either. Like, it's not too like Our mom's deep. From the north. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. So you picked up more. For a long time. Yeah, she used to be a really southern. But can you be honest? Like when I drink, the southern accent does come out. Is that true? Yeah, when I'm like really sleepy, I am talking totally. Like even last night, someone was telling me, "Oh, yeah, you have an accent," and I was like, "Really." <laughs> well, ladies, thank you so much for joining us. Um, you know, welcome to New York. Enjoy it. And, you know, thanks for joining us for Potty Mouth. All right. Thanks. thanks. I'm here with Charlie. Charlie, what brings you to Times Square? I have a really horrible British accent, by the way. No, your accent's cool. Your accent's cool. <laughs> um, I'm just down on Times Square off to work. Oh, nice. Yeah. Well, today we're talking about movies and Oscars. Uh -huh. Do you have any favorite, like, Oscar nominees? Yeah, I suppose um, Social Network. Right, because you yeah. like Facebook? Yeah, of course, everyone does. Keeps me in touch with um, my friends back home in mm -hmm. London and friends in L.A. and friends in New York and just nosing around. Nice, nice. Yeah. So what are, like, some of your favorite movies of all time? Favorite movies of all time would be um, Woodstock. Woodstock? Yeah. Awesome. Woodstock, because I like a lot of um, 60s. Mm -hmm. I like 50s, 60s, and 70s music, so I like the Woodstock one. What would be the worst movie of all time that you just like, I would never watch it again? The worst movie of all time would probably be, I don't know, worst movie of all time. Yeah, anything that made you gag, just made you like pissed off that you wasted like twelve dollars at the movie theater. <laughs> I don't see that. I, um, I don't know. My worst movie, I don't know. It would probably be. Um, I don't know. Oh, that's a really, really hard one. I don't want to offend anybody. Oh, don't worry about offending anybody. We're um, mouth. Worst just, like... movie, worst movie, worst movie, worst movie. Um, Spider Woman. Spider Woman? Yeah. That one that um, Halle Berry was in. Oh, really? That was Catwoman. Catwoman. It was Catwoman. It's Catwoman. Wrong Catwoman. Animal book. Yeah, you think Catwoman. That's, that, you think that's horrible? Yeah, that was like pants, totally. Got totally. It. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, Catwoman. All right, so between the Academy Awards and mm -hmm. Oscars, which show do you like? Which show do I like watching? Um, and I think like Behind the Music on VH1, MTV, Behind the Music. Well, I mean, okay, Behind the Music is, is, is one choice, but really, I'm asking you between Academy Awards and Oscars. So, what do you Which, like better? Oscars. You like Oscars better? Yeah. Well, what are your reasons? The drama, fashion, mm -hmm. you know? All the drama going on behind it, during it, and afterwards. So, yeah, Oscars, yeah, some, number people, one. A lot of people are alluding to fashion. So, you think the Oscars are more fashionable? And it's just a lot more drama going on? Yeah, and it's, I suppose, more worldly renowned and more worldly accepted. You know, you mentioned Oscars, and it's like, oh, wow, yeah, Oscars. But what if I told you they're both the same thing? Are they? I didn't know. They're both the same things, yes. Yeah, Oscars are statues that go for that Academy Award. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and there you've got a big one. Look, there you've got this Exactly. Lot. So do you know who Oscar is? No, you tell me who Oscar is. Well, you must have a theory. Wasn't he, like, um, the gentleman who's like behind the whole award ceremony and like they made a statue out of him in honor and that's why it's called Mr. Oscar. Right, so you think he's like an actor or somebody? Um, was Oscar an actor? I don't know if he was an actor. I think he was probably um, someone very important to do with the whole, whole ethos of it. I think you might be right. Is there any other Oscars who are famous that you can name? No, I don't know. You tell me. You tell me. You well, tell me. Like Oscar Grouch. Okay. Oscar Mayer. Oscar Mayer. I've heard of Oscar Mayer. I like your, I like your accent. Meyer. I like Oscar Mayer. <laughs> so you're like, I, oh. want, I want your accent. I don't want her teeth. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah. No, what are you talking You have bright white teeth. Don't yeah, you? yeah, you. because I'm getting a big reflector on me. That's why. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's not That's real. no such thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's not real. Who's your favorite actor? My favorite actor would be um, 
Victoria Beckham. Victoria I think she's the Beckham. best actress in the world. What is she in? She's in the world of the business. The last thing I saw her was Spice World. Yeah, but I think she's a very good actress. Well, you can't. You don't get the in. joke, do you? It's not real. She's not. She's not real. It's all acting. Oh, jokes on me. Yeah. <laughs> Next question. All right. So what's the, what's the hottest sex scene? Huh? What's the hottest sex scene in a movie that you just like love? The hottest sex scene that I've seen in a movie was in um, recently. It could be in, in any, it could be like 10 years ago, it could be 20 years ago, it could be yesterday. I think the hottest sex scene I've seen was in Brokeback Mountain. Oh, really? Yeah. Was it the scene where he spits <laughs> on his hand and just... And I don't know, I don't know, oh, yeah, I just pulled that up. I don't know, I think that's the hottest sex scene. No, it actually was. It was really yeah. sexy and intense. Yeah, intense. Let's say you just won Oscar for Best Actor. Okay. Give me your acceptance speech, 15 seconds. My accepting speech for best actor would be I'd like to thank my agent, my manager, who does Sweet FA, and uh, my accountant, and my mum, of course. Oh, that's sweet, your mum. <laughs> yeah, my mum. Without her, my mum and dad, I wouldn't be here, would I? Well, that's true, you wouldn't be here. My mum, dad, and Bank of America. You would still be in your dad's scrotum, that's true. In yeah, my dad's scrotum, yeah, yeah, yeah. So when they say, like, sometimes they say, oh, I'd like to thank the Academy, do you know who they're referring to? The powers that be that got them there. You know what? You can say the anything. Academy. You no, can say anything right now, and I just nod because it just sounds correct. No, but they right. are. They're, they're they're thanking the power that be, the Academy, the people, the board, the board of governors who decide. Do you hear that? The way he says it, the power that be. Yeah. It's just it's the truth now. <laughs> okay, so when you go to movie theaters, is there something that pisses you off about people there? Yeah. What? When you're rushing in and you're late to get your ticket, all they want to ask is, "Oh my God, like, dude, where are you from? Your accent." Oh. Like, give me the ticket. I want to go and watch the movie. Oh, it happens all the time, huh? Yeah. So that's what pisses you off. What do you get at the movie theater? What are your favorite, like, candies and goodies? I get popcorn. Uh-huh. And um, pizza slice. They sell pizza at the theater? Yeah, they sell the pizza slices at the um, one that I take my niece and nephew to in Silver Spring. Awesome. Have you ever yeah. hooked up in a movie theater? Be honest. Be honest. You no. sign a paper and it says you have to be honest. You've never. Never hooked up. No, you got a big, like... Elbow in the middle. No, there are a lot of ones that like, you can lift up and you can like get it on. You got like a big elbow. The girl might think, "What's going on?" Well, would you want to? Um, nah. I'm classy. You are. You look. You are looking quite classy. <laughs>